on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone Alright guys, welcome back to another segment. Not the one normally do it. I'm always here to give guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters. Yes, um uh Major Pochino press conference was done this afternoon and he said a lot of things, but I only pick the important ones so that I'm yet so that I'll share it with you guys, you understand? So that you guys know what is happening in Chelsea and the one that is not happening in Chelsea because right now i have a good news for you guys very good news for you guys the one that you have been waiting for i know that this guy you people have been raising praises on this guy chuku maker for doing a good job playing that number 10 role before going on that injury now i have a good news for you guys concerning chuku maker which i want to read it for you guys via pys according to pys he said that Mauricio Pochettino says Madweke and Chuku Emeka might be available for Fulham with James maybe next week versus Burnley. Wow, I'm I'm short of words. Like I was not expecting these guys to be back early like this. I know they expect them to come back early. Like I was not expecting it at all. As for Rhys James, yes, I, I, I said it that before the international, the next international break, Rhys James should be back. But as for Chukwe Maker coming back fully, coming back to training fully, I was not expecting it. I was not. But I am happy that he's back. I'm happy that Madweke is back. And with what he said, he said that hopefully they might come from the bench against Fulham. That will be on Monday evening because chelsea form now monday and that game will kick off by 8 p.m so I, i'm 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 short of words like i'm very happy to hear that and to know that um this guy chuko emeka will be with us very soon because i know that a lot of people have been talking about laying emphasis on chuko emeka that i wish chuko emeka was available all these things won't be observing it all this playing ends or 10 won't be that obvious you understand but it's good that they are coming back one after the other is a very good one and it will help the team too you understand they will help the team they come back so we let us watch and see if truly truly chuku emeka will be at, on the bench against fulham but never can tell too if it's they fit if it's train with the guys no means say if it's play against fulham you just they talk and say you go they're available no me say they go play them you understand because he just they come back from injury so you know expect and saying good just carry on like that put inside a uh, 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 match that kind of crucial match you no know, good just do him. you understand but i'm very happy that he's back alongside madweke madweke is back fully so we should be expecting madweke especially i should be expecting that guy you don't even see that guy do some ball work you understand so i should be expecting madweke against Fulham. then as for this guy Riz james I told you guys now, Rhys James should be fully fit against Burnley or Arsenal. I mean, I, I, I know why I said Arsenal because Arsenal, but against Arsenal, go be prepared and ready. So we should be expecting Rhys James against Arsenal, fully booked and ready. Then, as for Ben Chiwe, he said that he's disappointed that Ben Chiwe has picked up an injury and going for a longer time like that is not, is not good at all. But whichever one, we know just you know just go injury at least we get back up for her people they will go play that position as kukurela go play you understand kukurela go play so that one no my kids then he's made mention of something like um he said that he's going to be fully involved in the january transfer window that is going to be fully involved like he said according to PYS, he said that pochettino i am working to identify what we need in the january window i am involved in the transfer Wow, that's a very good one. Um, being involved, that means he's going to pick those players he wants. Though, all these players will sign for some and are waiting he wants, but some of them will be done already. They push for them before him may come inside as the coach. You understand? So, for him to just say, they fully involved for January transfer. That means this January transfer. <laughs> now, another spending, no. Now, another spending. But before we spend, make we get to a certain level in the league table that is my own you understand because you know we just wake up when they go buy players anyhow 
when when you buy out of this one, when, when you don't already buy, when they do anything, it does the it does the worst in the case. Because if you buy now, what about the ones that when they loan? You understand? So all those things to make them put them into consideration. You guys me, but whichever one, I just believe that they know what they are doing and they know what is best for the team. And they know that whatever is best for the team, that is what they are doing. You understand? So I'm very happy that um Chuku Emeka is back. My guy don't come back. Like I know say I'd always hit on him. I always hit on Chuku Emeka because of I always say one thing. He they play football, but he never he never play to a certain level where I would call and say, Yes, this guy don't play football. But against Liverpool and West Ham, top notch. You understand? But many come on that mindset of small picking football. Then play football like Percy way they Chelsea. Play football like Percy way they play for big club. You understand? So I'm very happy that he's back alongside Madio K. They are back. So we should be expecting a different football altogether. Having Palmer, having Mujik, having Chukwemeka, having Jackson, having Broja, having Sterling. I know a lot of people don't hit on Sterling, but I'll still be saying this. Sterling has been fantastic so far, but the only issue I'm having with him, I don't know whether he's really working with these younger ones to make sure that things work for good for the team. Because of, since he said that he wants to be the highest goal scorer, nobody will stop you from scoring goals, though. But at least, Sterling, when you know that you are not in that right position to do the needful, please give it to people that can do it. If you watch our match against Brighton, the moment they bring in Sterling, that attack drop. The first drop. The pressure on my Brighton defense drop. You get me? So that is it. Then as for this guy, Ugo Chuku. I don't think Ngochuku will play against Fulham since this guy don't come back. Uh, what's his name? Uh, since en Enzo go, definitely Enzo will play. So as for Ngochuku, well, 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 all, all that one day for coach hand. But so far, so good. I know, like, if you, Ngochuku has been fantastic. He has been doing perfectly well. You understand? Just that he just needs one or two time to understand seeing a premiership football when they play. You get me? So else, I was not even expecting... Ugochuku to still be in Chelsea this season to play for Chelsea this season. I was seeing him as one of those players that after everything they go loan him out. But so far, so good. The boy has been coming in for the rescue mission because now in the road that defense very well. That's defensive midfield very well with Casaido. At least you know they relieve relief Casaido of some heavy heavy work of saying now him supposed that and I supposed to do that thing. But Chuku Maker uh Ugochuku has been doing very well too. You understand? So the good news is that Chuko Emeka and Maduke are back. Most especially Chuko Emeka is back. So we should be expecting him against Fulham. And also this guy, this James. This James should be against Burnley. But if that FA matter serious, either now by fine no, or by suspension or by match ban, anyone with the one do him. No wala moko no the one way this James fits they on. If they go suspend them for one match due to the fact they talk to referee carelessly, Moko no, you understand? Then about the sponsor. Hopefully, we should be expecting Chelsea uh this thing sponsor, this thing JC against Fulham. As in the JC will go where we carry our sponsor crest for the uh, uh, front against Fulham. So hopefully we should be expecting that on Monday. Yeah, so for one. now, um, do it to like the video, share, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters.